Let's now look at another example, a trivial car safety warning system. The requirements are very simple here. Actually, there are two requirements. First is, if the safety belt is not worn, when the car is moving, then an alarm should sound. Similarly, if the handbrake is engaged and the car is moving, then the alarm should be sounded. This can be seen as a simple set of rules and one can implement them using a combinatorial logic. A naive and direct code for implementing would code the rules as a set of conditional statements using if then else structure, one for each requirement. Obviously, that's quite unusual and no programmer would do that. A better approach would be to do a K-map reduction, but K-map reduction is possible only for binary values. In reality, the parameter values may not be binary. Yet another approach is to look for patterns in the input-output relation. We immediately see that when the car is not moving, the alarm will not be triggered irrespective of the input values. If it is indeed moving, then we can see that the alarm is triggered as logical or of the seat belt not being worn and the handbrake is being locked. So a simpler code would be like shown here. For the simple set of rules we have, it's easy to arrive at the code above. Most implementations start this way, but then as the requirements grow, the above starts degrading. For example, we may add more requirements such as we want the passenger seat also to be checked for belt status and the presence or absence of a passenger has to be detected by another sensor and it becomes one of the inputs. So that number of inputs increases, then the combinations on the number of rows of the table will exponentially increase. Therefore, coding that and trying to simplify that like we have done in this case is going to be complex. Thank you.